The Importance of Vulnerability Scanning As IT professionals, we understand the importance of keeping our network secure. However, with the ever-evolving threat landscape, it can be challenging to stay ahead of potential vulnerabilities. This is where vulnerability scanning comes in. Vulnerability scanning is a critical component of any comprehensive security strategy. It allows us to identify weaknesses in our network before they can be exploited by malicious actors. By conducting regular vulnerability scans, we can proactively address potential threats and prevent costly data breaches. But vulnerability scanning isn't just about preventing external attacks. It also helps us identify internal vulnerabilities that could lead to accidental data leaks or other security incidents. By identifying these vulnerabilities, we can take steps to mitigate them and ensure that our network remains secure from all angles. In short, vulnerability scanning is an essential tool for any IT professional looking to keep their network secure. By understanding the importance of vulnerability scanning and implementing it as part of our overall security strategy, we can protect our organization's sensitive data and maintain the trust of our customers and stakeholders. 2. Understanding the Vulnerability Scanning Process Understanding the vulnerability scanning process is critical to successfully securing your network. Vulnerability scanning is a process of identifying and assessing security vulnerabilities in your network, systems, and applications. It involves using automated tools to scan your network for potential weaknesses that could be exploited by attackers. The vulnerability scanning process typically involves three stages, discovery, mapping, and analysis. During the discovery phase, the scanner identifies all devices on the network, including servers, workstations, routers, switches, and other network devices. In the mapping phase, the scanner maps out the network topology and identifies the relationships between devices. Finally, during the analysis phase, the scanner performs a detailed analysis of each device to identify any vulnerabilities that may exist. It's important to note that vulnerability scanning is not a one-time event but rather an ongoing process. New vulnerabilities are discovered every day, and it's essential to stay up to date with the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Regular vulnerability scanning can help you identify and address vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by attackers. In summary, understanding the vulnerability scanning process is crucial to securing your network. By regularly scanning your network for vulnerabilities, you can identify and address potential weaknesses before they can be exploited by attackers. 3. Choosing the right vulnerability scanner When it comes to choosing the right vulnerability scanner for your network, there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, you'll want to ensure that the scanner is capable of detecting all types of vulnerabilities, including those that may be specific to your organization's unique infrastructure and applications. Additionally, you'll want to look for a scanner that provides detailed reporting and analysis capabilities, allowing you to easily identify and prioritize vulnerabilities based on their severity and potential impact. Another important consideration is the scanner's ease of use and integration with your existing IT systems. Ideally, You'll want a scanner that can be seamlessly integrated into your network and automated to run on a regular basis without requiring significant manual intervention. This will help to ensure that your vulnerability scanning practices remain consistent and effective over time. Finally, it's important to choose a scanner that is backed by a reputable vendor with a strong track record in the security industry. Look for a vendor that offers ongoing support and updates to ensure that your scanner remains up to date and effective against emerging threats. By carefully considering these factors, you can choose a vulnerability scanner that meets your organization's unique needs and helps to keep your network secure. 4. Preparing for a successful vulnerability scan Before conducting a vulnerability scan, it is crucial to prepare your network and systems to ensure a successful outcome. The first step in preparing for a vulnerability scan is to identify all the assets that need to be scanned. This includes servers, workstations, routers, switches, 
firewalls, and any other devices connected to the network. Once you have identified all the assets, it is important to ensure that they are up to date with the latest security patches and updates. Outdated software and operating systems can leave vulnerabilities that can be exploited by attackers. Make sure to install all necessary updates before conducting the scan. Another important aspect of preparation is to inform all relevant stakeholders about the upcoming scan. This includes IT staff, system administrators, and business owners. It is important to communicate the purpose and scope of the scan, as well as any potential disruptions that may occur during the process. In addition, it is recommended to create a backup of all critical data and systems before conducting the scan. This ensures that in case of any unforeseen issues, you can quickly restore your systems to their previous state. Finally, it is important to set clear objectives for the vulnerability scan. Determine what you want to achieve from the scan, such as identifying and addressing specific vulnerabilities or assessing overall network security. Having clear objectives will help you focus your efforts and make the most out of the scan. By following these steps, you can ensure that your vulnerability scan is conducted smoothly and effectively, providing valuable insights into your network security posture. 5. Analyzing and addressing vulnerabilities found. Once the vulnerability scan is complete, it's time to analyze and address the vulnerabilities found. This step is crucial in ensuring that your network remains secure and protected from potential threats. Firstly, prioritize the vulnerabilities based on their severity level. Focus on addressing the high-risk vulnerabilities first, as they pose the greatest threat to your network. Next, identify the root cause of each vulnerability and determine the best course of action to address it. This may involve installing software patches, updating configurations, or implementing new security measures. It's important to document all actions taken to address the vulnerabilities found during the scan. This will help you keep track of your progress and ensure that no vulnerabilities are left unaddressed. Finally, once all vulnerabilities have been addressed, conduct another vulnerability scan to ensure that all issues have been resolved. Remember, vulnerability scanning is an ongoing process, and regular scans should be conducted to maintain a secure network. By properly analyzing and addressing vulnerabilities found during a vulnerability scan, you can significantly reduce the risk of a security breach and protect your organization's sensitive data. 6. Maintaining ongoing vulnerability scanning practices. Once you have executed a successful vulnerability scan and addressed the vulnerabilities found, it is important to maintain ongoing vulnerability scanning practices. This means regularly conducting scans to ensure that your network remains secure and protected against potential threats. Maintaining ongoing vulnerability scanning practices involves keeping your vulnerability scanner up to date with the latest security patches and updates. It also means staying informed about new threats and vulnerabilities that may arise and adjusting your scanning practices accordingly. Regularly reviewing and analyzing the result of your vulnerability scans can help you identify trends and patterns in your network's security posture. This information can be used to make informed decisions about how to improve your network security and prevent future vulnerabilities from occurring. By maintaining ongoing vulnerability scanning practices, you can ensure that your network remains secure and protected against potential threats. This not only helps to safeguard your organization's sensitive data and assets but also helps to build trust with your customers and stakeholders.